Over the last decade, television has experienced a seismic revolution, the explosion of unscripted reality programming. Shows like The Voice, <laughs> The Apprentice. You're fired. And perhaps the grandpappy of them all, Survivor. Survivor's ready, go! The guy behind all these shows, the guy who set off the explosion is Mark Burnett. But before he was a reality television brand, he was a young man in search of adventure. Served with the British Army in Northern Ireland and in the Falklands War, sold t-shirts on Venice Beach, and when he did break into TV, it was like the networks didn't know what hit them. Now Mark has teamed up with his wife, the actor Roma Downey from Touched by an Angel, for a show that he promises will be bigger than the rest of them combined. It's a big story. What are we gonna do? Change the world. It's an epic five-part miniseries. Some people will think it's another reality show. Others won't. It's simply called The Bible. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hello. Like of all the things one could approach. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Let's tell the story of the Bible. Well, you can imagine the pitch meeting when you go into a network. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Another survivor, another voice? No, 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 actually, it's the Bible. It's the Bible. They're like, oh. <laughs> They're basically, you can see them recall. Oh, no. People really, really remember that no is the second best answer. Uh, I mean, my wife always says, I don't even hear the word no. It means next opportunity to me. Right. Is that how you are as well? Completely. Well, you must be, because Survivor took forever to get made, right? Like, you pitched that. Yeah, if you think about Survivor, actually, um, not only had I pitched everybody, I'd got a no from CBS. Yeah. Um, and as ABC then said yes, I don't remember this, said yes, I had a deal with ABC and believed a signed deal. I was going to make it. Then ABC called up and say, actually, we found another show called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. And we don't believe... There could be two million dollar prizes on TV at the same time. We're going to cancel it before we've even made it. I said, but we have a deal. And I remember someone saying to me, you think you're going to sue ABC? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I guess I'm not actually. So I was really bummed. And then I went back in to CBS, who'd already said no and got a yes. That's one of those things that give everybody, everyone watching out there, hope that no doesn't actually mean no. Right. You know? Well, it means no in one context. No, no means yeah, well, no. Course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case someone reads a transcript, yeah, Mark. Right, right. In a male or female, yeah. yeah. No, I tell my boys all the time. No really does mean no. It, in business or pitching yeah. shows, it doesn't. It just means that person at that moment doesn't share the vision. Right. And, you know, you can't be put off. But you know, look what you've done in your career, man. I mean, it's not easy. You've got to keep going and believing in yourself all right. the time. Honestly, it works out great for you, eh? So far, so good. This is this what a long, strange trip has been for a guy that was in the British service, right? Does it feel yeah. that way? A um, little bit strange. Long trip. Um, and, you know, we're in Canada now, and it's, you know, in North America. But as a guy coming from Britain, close society, class society, to America, what I learned pretty quickly was, you have an idea, I want to take some action, you will get a chance. You know, if you're good at what you do, you'll succeed. Right. It's not a society in North America where if you didn't go to the right school or you weren't having the right parents, you don't get a chance. Europe is a bit like that. Not less so now, but it used to always be that way. You know, so is it weird a guy who was in the parachute regiment who had a big career or was having a big career as a TV producer and just made an epic miniseries on the Bible? I guess in some people's mind, to me, it's more of a message to your viewers Anybody, listen, I don't even know that much. I'm not even that smart. I got this done. Yeah. Anybody can get stuff done. I mean, you're pretty smart, right? I have my moments. <laughs> but they're fleeting, Mark. They're <laughs> fleeting moments. No, what I have is I have, uh, I don't think that I have smarts. I just, just do it, and I don't really care what the result is. You just do it. It will come, come with me. So you completely, completely congruent with what I'm saying to you. We're thinking the same thing. If you overanalyze... Yeah you won't do anything, you know? And if someone's watching this today, some young person gonna go, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Stick around, more with Mark Burnett right after this.
All right, so Mark has done a lot of research on the Bible, but I want to find out what other arts may have influenced his. How blessed are the sorrowful? Speak up! Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. Blessed are those of gentle spirit. They shall have the earth for their possession. What was that? I don't know. It's too busy talking a big nose. I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> What's so special about the cheesemakers? Well, obviously, it's not meant to be taken literally. It refers to any manufacturer's dairy product. He's back here with Mark Barnett. Good morning. Bye, dog, for you. We're talking about analysis. Well, I've got to tell you, you know how much time we spent on location making the Bible, making sure nothing sounded like Monty Python. <laughs> that was a daily checkup for us. <laughs> Hearing, listen, you can imagine how some of the words can come out and making sure, and that Monty Python was something that we were going so far away from so fast, and every time something sounded a bit off, it went, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> is this sounding real? Because, you know, you're making the Bible the right. real version. Right. Well, I'm uh, glad to see that. Now, Hollywood has, I guess, run out of comic books to cover and come out of um, ga video games to make movies. Now they're really approaching the Bible. The story of Noah, people are yes, looking yes. at that. Uh, I think Brad Pitt's looking at the Pontius Pilate story. Mm -hmm. People are really trying to explain. This is Hollywood. Now, most Christians in the media, they, they're mad at Hollywood. Either it's because they're Jews or they're gays or they're something, but they're mad at Hollywood. And now you, you recognize that Hollywood's taking a look at this. Do you, do you trust the kinds of stories they're going to tell? It's not, my, not for me to trust or not to trust. I'm just glad that our Bible miniseries, 10 Hours, which looks epic, is a year ahead of all the Hollywood <laughs> movies. <laughs> I'm really true. glad about that. I mean, you've made a lot of big shows, and a lot of them are family-based. Uh, yes. You know, interestingly enough, like, something like Survivor, by the way, you think of that now, what, season 26 about to start. I just want to also, by the way, just note... Last year's Survivor Wednesday up against X Factor with four times the budget, we crushed them. Mm -hmm. Crushed them. You like that part? Yes. <laughs> I'm very competitive. Are you? Yes. But, what is that? but come on, is it the Bible? Does no one like, hey, no, 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 but I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at Simon Cowell and turn the other, no, that? No, because, you know, I was called for a reason. Like, my wife always says, and my, you know, Roma, my beautiful wife, who is like an angel on earth and is a whisperer, she says she whispers and Mark kicks doors down. But most reality has gone into the arena of humiliation. Do you, do you, do you, are you a consumer of that? Do you watch that? What do you think of what's become of that genre? No, I mean, I think I've proven more than anybody. I, I forgot what I was going to say before. So on Survivor, think about 26 seasons. You've never even seen an inch of butt crack above a bathing suit. I blurred it. I was always cautious at 8 o'clock how many young kids were watching. I'm not a prudish person, but I'm, I'm smart and I'm focused on family entertainment. Look at the voice. What do you think told me there's no chance of a show that's not making fun of bad singers would make it? Right. I knew that was wrong. The voice is crushing. You know, there's a, um, a need for kindness, and you can make great um, dramatic content without humiliating. I think, actually... Certain people doing humiliating content are going to get a big shock. Exactly. I think North America, Canada and American audiences are going to go into reverse on that. There's enough going on in the economy, enough hardness in families and getting jobs and just working. Who don't want to see other people ripped? And I think I'm proving that, right? Look at all my shows. You know, like Shark Tank, number one on Fridays. Survivor, number one on Wednesdays. Well, you know, part of Shark Tank, we have Kevin O'Leary here yeah. on Dragon's Den. Yeah. It's a pretty... Brutal, uncompassionate, bang, bang, bang. There's some of that. And I was wondering on Survivor. Just Kevin. Just Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you now, you take Touched by an Angel, 25 million viewers a week for 10 years, Survivor, Apprentice, The Voice, Shark Tank, whatever, the movie awards, everything we do, Emmys, add them all together. This 10 hours on the Bible will be seen by more than all those other shows combined over the next 25 years. Of that, I'm certain. All right, so, anthropology. Did you fire the actor playing Jesus, then rehire him three days later to help him get into character? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to cast me in the Bible, who would I get to play? Judas. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs>
That's my. I'm just you, no, I wanted I wanted Judas or Zacchaeus. Those were the two that I wanted. Maybe Boaz, okay, but that's all I wanted. Could, I could see that you'd be in, deep into the character. I want to play. The I did after watching Judas and Jesus Christ Superstar. I was totally in. Real pleasure, man. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mark Burnett, everybody. The Bible, the miniseries, premieres on History Channel March the 3rd. There's a book that goes with it as well. Uh, it's a novel based on the show, which is called The Story of God, All and All of Us. So, what a real pleasure. We'll be right back.